What is going on, everyone? It is day five of training camp for the Houston Texans. The pads did come on, so we definitely have a lot to discuss. Now, I will be at every single training camp practice that the Houston Texans have open to the public, so all the photos and videos that you are going to see to me were done by me, and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok for the latest Houston Texans news, rumors, and updates. Also, guys, I desperately need a haircut, man. My barber, he is on vacation. I have a mullet, so if you cut hair or know, or know someone who wants to cut hair, I don't mind paying for it, man, and giving you a shout-out. Just give me some help in the comments down below. Now, the people who we are going to be pulling these quotes from, DJ Enemy, Cody Stutes, Brooks Cabina, and Cole Thompson, they do a great job of covering this Houston Texans team. Now, let's go ahead and start with how day five of training camp went for the Houston Texans. This is from DJ Enemy. Texans practice is over. There's good news. The defense was physical all day. The D-line could get into the back foot often, and they all could not run the ball. Man, the past couple of days, this defense has been the star of the show, and it looked like it continued today in day five. Not so great news. C.J. Stroud threw two interceptions, one for six to Derek Stingley. He was five for ten on the day. I was talking smack in yesterday's video saying that Davis Mills has the only two interceptions throws. Well, C.J. Stroud throws two today. But these are the rookie pains, right? This is what you expect from a guy who's just coming off of college. I would rather have C.J. Stroud throw two interceptions with the ones than Davis Mills throw two interceptions with the ones. So more observations from my guy Cole Thompson. Wide receiver Xavier Hutchison and LB Blake Cashman continue to shine. These two have been making plays the past two practices. Xavier uh, Hutchison had that touchdown against Derrick Stingley on one-on-ones. And Blake Cashman, hey, two interceptions in two days. Running back Devin Singletary looked good keeping the balance in red zone. Healthy Stingley in this D is a problem. And defensive end Will Anderson can still do nothing wrong. Stingley was the second player that picked off C.J. Stroud. And Will Anderson Jr. seems like he has a sack on every single practice. You guys will see a highlight today. I'm going to show it right here of Davis Mills finding Xavier Hutchison deep for a touchdown. But look who was in his face, number 51, Will Anderson Jr., now we get to our guy, Cody Stusman, and shout out to him. He does the 11 observations from training camp. He is there every single day, so make sure you guys are tapped in. I'm going to show you his Twitter, and then we're going to get to the quotes. CJ Stroud had his worst day of work so far with the Monday practice. Stroud's struggle started early as he tried to loft a ball over the head of linebacker Blake Cashman. Cashman jumped and picked off Stroud. It was a learning opportunity for Stroud, who didn't put enough on the pass to beat the defender. Christian Harris spoke after practice, and he spoke on Blake Cashman and his two interceptions of Davis Mills and C.J. Stroud. And Christian Harris said, They thrown it up by him, and I don't know why. He's definitely a playmaker. It's great to see him out. Now, this linebacker group is making so much strides under new head coach D'Amico Ryans. You can see... A little bit of D'Amico Ryans in every single part of this defense, man. And he spoke about it a couple days ago and said the race at linebacker is tighter than expected. Blake Cashman, Denzel Perryman, Christian Harris, Henry Tuatua, they have been making plays all throughout practice. Each and every single one of these linebackers has been multiple amount of plays with the starters. So it is going to be interesting to see who is going to end up being the starting linebackers for this Houston Texans team? But I know if they are starters, then they absolutely deserve to be there. Now let's continue with some more Cody Stoops observations. C.J. Stroud usually bounces back after a bad play or two, but early he didn't. After the interception to Cashman in team drills, the Texans offense ran the ball on the ensuing play. The officials present called a delay of game on Stroud. It was a very rocky and wonky start for the rookie quarterback. Stroud would bounce back slightly on his next opportunity with some work. Derek Stingley got in on C.J. Stroud's tough day later. Stroud was trying to hit a strike to the sideline to one of his wideouts, but Stingley saw what was happening. Stingley raced towards the throwing lane, picked the ball off, and took it off for the end zone. Pick six. D'Amico Ryans, after practice, praised Derek Stingley for his practices to the point of training camp. Derek Stingley, he has been solid, but he has been getting beat a couple of times, man. I just love 
competition. And when I'm out there and I see these cornerbacks and wide receivers, they go at it, man. This team is going to be really exciting to see. And I just got to give some praises to this coaching staff, man. Even when you look at the special teams, Frank Ross is yelling at every single player. If you don't do it exactly right, he is going to replace you the very next play. I kind of feels like this coaching staff is teaching these players with a sense of urgency. And man, I loved it. Now we get to Mills Millie. Davis Mills had more than a solid day. Mills operated the offense well, didn't make a ton of mistakes with the decisions. It wasn't amazing. None of the practices was really, but it moved better today than with CJ Stroud out the helm. It was the first day I can say Davis Mills was ahead of Stroud. For those keeping track at home, the Stroud leads Mills 2-1-2 with two practices being a draw. Rookie wide receiver Xavier Hutchinson had another big play in practice. Davis Mills, with all sorts of pressure bearing down on him, uncorked a pass that landed in Hutchinson's hands behind the defense. The rookie has played well the past two days. Mills has really made a nice throw with his feet, dealing with some of that pressure. Then we get to the, I'm sorry, the quote right under that. The above-mentioned play never should have happened. I say never should have happened because Will Anderson Jr. dominated his run blocker and would have annihilated Davis Mills. Anderson was, again, a monster. Some poor team is going to try to block him with a tight end, and that will end poorly nearly every time. Anderson also frequently was affecting pass the lanes with the rush, getting into the line of sight of the quarterbacks after practice. Anderson explained he has seen a lot of improvement occurring in watching film in his workouts. He said that he stays up at night dissecting little aspects of his game and really improves his game by watching film with the coaches. Will Anderson Jr. is going to be your defensive rookie of the year. He continues to make plays every time he is out there. When I was there, he had about two would-be sacks on both C.J. Stroud and Davis Mills. And he's just consistently a pressure in the backfield. Some more observations from our guy Cody Stutz. The linebackers are a bit deeper than I imagined they would be initially. Blake Cashman has channeled Brian Erlacher the past couple of practices. Henry Tua Tua has been on the field a lot and doesn't look out of place. Christian Harris met more than a few running backs at the line of scrimmage. There should be some tough cuts at the linebacker position. And this is the D'Amico Ryan's effect, ladies and gentlemen. I go back to how he talks about Fred Warner. And Fred Warner said, I'm sorry, D'Amico Ryan said, Fred Warner was a third-round pick. And now he is considered one of the best linebackers in the NFL. Can you imagine if Christian Harris and Henry Tuatua and Blake Cashman just start absolutely being the next linebackers for the foreseeable future for the Houston Texans? That will be absolutely insane to watch. And then we hear about our rookie center. Rookie center Juice Scruggs was shot at out after practice by D'Amico Ryans. When asked about the rookie center, Ryans revealed he was highlighted in a recent team meeting for his execution of the offense. Scrugg also has guard versatility in addition to playing center. Ryans also said Scruggs has picked up the offense. Well, is there any surprise there? Dude was at Penn State when he was learning to walk again because he broke his back. He was coaching his teammates on the sideline. This is the future captain of the offensive line for the foreseeable future. And I think Juice Scruggs is going to be great for the Houston Texans. And then to end the day, we get a quote from our head coach, D'Amico Ryans. Ryans said, the hope is players get to film and have already corrected their mistakes mentally. He said a lot of players know exactly how they messed up right after it happens. That just goes into good coaching. These coaches have these guys prepared, and I am excited for week one against the Baltimore Ravens. This was day five of training camp for the Houston Texans. You guys let me know how y'all felt about it. As always, go Houston. You guys have a very blessed day.